all day every day thoughts are turning to things oh thoughts are turning to things your thoughts are turning to your things your thoughts aren't turning to the things of others and the things of others aren't turning to your things unless you're thinking about the things of others in other words you might have your nose in their business and wherever your nose is is usually where your eyes go Jerry used to notice that when Esther and Jerry were driving around the nation in the monster bus he'd say oh that's interesting and as soon as it had Esther's attention the whole bus would start to move that way <laughs> after a while he only pointed at things dead ahead because he kind of realized that wherever she looks she goes and we want you to realize that you're all that way wherever you look you tend to go wherever you look you go and so you want to begin to look only where you really want to go talk about only where you really want to go activate feelings within you about things that you want to continue to live and take your attention from that which you don't and there are many people in this world around you who would say well that really is a sort of withdrawn way to live and we say well you might have to withdraw for a little while till you really get a handle on what your vibrational output is but after a little while you'll be really eager to get out into the world and look around because you won't be guarded because you won't be worried about things sneaking up on you because you know how they get there once you understand that you create your own reality and once you gain a little bit of control over what you are giving your attention to then you don't proceed cautiously into the world afraid that something's gonna pounce on you because it can't when you feel wonderful only good things can come to you and when you are focusing deliberately and then you are noticing the correlation between what you've been thinking about and how you've been feeling about it and then what comes back to you then you will really begin to excel then you will be a master of deliberate creating there are four steps to the process that we like to talk about five really I'm going to talk about four first and then five a little bit later step one is you have to ask for what you want and we ask you just now do you know what you want and you feel like you know what you want asking is easy isn't it because life just keeps providing for you variety which causes you to know what you want so you're asking all day every day step two is the answer comes to you because source offers the answer when you ask it is given when you ask it is given someone should write a book about that when you ask it is given but the thing that you want to know about that which is given when you ask it is given you are given the vibrational access code to it you are given the vibrational essence of it but you have to do step three in order for you to realize it in your experience and step three is you have to find a vibrational match to what you're asking for you can't want more money and be depressed about not having enough that's not step three that's step one and that's step two but unless you do step three your money doesn't end up in your bank account it's a vibrational essence which you have told us repeatedly is not that satisfying to you <laughs> we've wanted so much for you to realize that the process of creation is that when you ask it is given but it is given in a vibrational format that you must find the access code to you've got to line up with it vibrationally you have to have the vibrational equivalency of your desire pulsing within you mostly you cannot be focused upon the absence of what you want and get it no matter how much you're talking about it and if you feel bad about what you want then that is what you're doing you're focused in opposition if you're worried or doubtful or fearful or angry or jealous about something that you want not coming if you're impatient or discouraged it's not coming anytime soon because your vibration is offering opposition to what it is and you haven't synced up with it yet so that particular thought about that particular thing cannot become a thing in your experience it must be so interesting to you to be in these physical bodies so engrossed in the physicality of your life because you have physical senses and your life is so tactile and so tangible you can see things and smell things and hear things and taste them and touch them because you're doing all of that which is translating vibration into a reality that is meaningful to you because you have these physical senses you tend to want everything to appear in your life in that tangible way 
and we want it to too that's really one of the primary points that you make in being here in this physical body you are the manifestation of so much thought and as the thinking body here in this body as the thinking being here out here on the leading edge your thoughts are meant to turn to more things but if you are thinking in opposition to the thing you want every subject is two subjects wanted in absence of it and sometimes without meaning to you're focused on the absence of something that you want and because you're saying words about it because you're smiling about it because you're sort of faking it till you make it about it you think that it should come but there is a vibrational criteria that you have to meet you must be a vibrational match to the things that you want and the bottom line is you are a vibrational match to the things you're getting that is always true so step one is the contrast of life this is how we demonstrate contrast of life contrast of life and life is over here it's over here life is over here the physical world that you are living in over here so the contrast of your life causes you to know what you don't want and therefore know what you do want so you're sending these rockets vibrational rockets thoughts vibrations are coming from you and they are being received by your inner being into this vibrational reality from whence you came a vibrational reality that is vibrational and perceived only those who are perceiving vibration it's not yet tangible where everybody can see it and that really bothers you because you've created a desire that you and others cannot yet see because it's a thought that has not yet matured into a thing and so we know it is irritating for us to keep talking about this vibrational reality we got so carried away with it we gave it a name the vortex the vortex where the vibrations are assimilating and where the cooperative components are being gathered by law of attraction wrote two books about it we want so much for you to accept the reality of this vortex but it's hard to accept the reality of something that you can't see and yet you must because if you don't accept the beginning of something you can't see then you can't tell if you're holding yourself in vibrational alignment with it as it matures it's what religions mean when they talk about faith it's what we mean when we talk about the vortex the trust of the vortex the trust of the process in other words you got to get on the vibe of something and if you stay on the vibe of something eventually it will turn into something that you and others can see but in the meantime if you need to see it before you're willing to feel it then it's going to be really slow in coming to you and even worse if you need to see it before you stop feeling its absence you see that's the key you keep thinking because you can't see it it's not there and in your belief it's not there you sometimes believe it's not coming and in those thoughts of it not being there of it not being there it's not there it's not there it's not coming it's not there it's not there it's not coming you're not turning the thoughts of it becoming to things you're turning the thoughts of it not coming to things so it continues to not come do you know the things you don't have that's creation too you might tell people people might say to you you a good creator yeah I've created a lot of not things <laughs> I'm such a good creator I keep nearly everything I want from coming that's how good I am <laughs> I have a powerful mind <laughs> think about that a little bit because that is what's happening you may be using your powerful mind to create things that you want and you may be using your powerful creative mind to prevent them from coming and so as we're moving forward today we want to help you figure out how to get into that receiving mode step one is ask step two is source answer step three is you've got to be vibrationally equivalent to what you're asking for which means you got to feel it like it's done you got to feel it you got to talk about what you want and why you want it think about that when you talk about what you want and why you want it you can feel it can't you but when you talk about what you want and where it's going to come from I don't know when it's going to get there I don't know who's going to be with it I don't know then you sort of mess it up with all that I don't know stuff that's going on so if you could step back in a more general way and think more about what you want and why you want it just catch the essence of it or not think about it at all oh do you know you could decide that you want something Bam. and never think about it again and it would come do you know that the only thing that keeps the things or the experiences or the people the life from you 
are your opposing thoughts about it makes you kind of want to think about what you're thinking about doesn't it <laughs> so for a while as we present this to you you got a little too human like you're so action oriented you don't mean to be it doesn't serve you very well your action is such a weak power and your connection to this energy that creates worlds is such a powerful power but so often you are focused upon the action part of your life experience and it's difficult we know not to notice what's going on so if you want more money and there isn't enough it's hard not to notice that we know but if you could step back into a little more general sense of abundance and just try a little bit to focus softly on the things about your life that feel good to you when you focus upon them then you will begin to stop doing that thing you do that prevents it and it's interesting because the art of allowing is to release contradictory thought and therefore allow your vibration to rise so that you accomplish that vibrational equivalency to what your inner being knows about things but when you're facing reality which seems prudent to so many of you it's been taught to you by so many then you often can't do that people will say well Abraham shouldn't I face reality and we will say certainly if what you're looking at is pleasing to you but if it's a part of reality that isn't pleasing you then the more you face it the more you practice that vibration which doesn't allow the improvement and that really is what we must convince you of if you are to be the deliberate creator that you were born to be we have to help you to understand that the life around you that you can see and hear and smell and taste and touch that part of life that has already manifested is old news it's like gum that you've chewed the flavor out of already it's already happened it's not what's going on what's going on are the thoughts that are turning to things what's going on is that this life that you are living has caused you to ask for more all day every day you're asking for more improvements and those improvements are in the beginning vibrational realities that are in the process of becoming manifested but you are the one who must perceive the manifestation you've got to line up with the vibrational version of them and therefore oh and then oh and then when you line up with the vibrational version of them then you get to witness you get to be right there and see these thoughts turning to things and you don't know it yet quite like we want you to in fact some of you don't even really know it at all but we know so clearly that's why you came that's the zest of life that's the juice of life that's what you really came for you want to witness your thoughts turning to your things that's what you're here for to have your hands in the clay of your own creation and it's fine to look around at what others have created that's part of that deciphering process and from that you make many decisions about what you now want to create and there is nothing that you cannot be or do or have there is nothing that is off limits to you but you've got to find a way to be a vibrational match to what you're asking for and not so much a vibrational match to whatever is that caused you to ask for more because if you keep focusing upon what is you can only hold what is to you in order to allow the more you've got to focus in that direction too that makes sense doesn't it <laughs>